My name is Dr. Erica Kozel. I'm the director of the LSFY program at NC State. It is designed for students coming from high school into obviously NC State where they can explore the possibility of seven to eight majors that we support, but certainly more than those majors within the life sciences. So if a student, um, when they apply to NC State, decide that they are interested in one of our majors, they will automatically be put in our program. And the program is designed to help students transition from high school to college successfully and then to uh, have a lot of support since the first year in college tends to be critical for student retention and satisfaction. And then explore these eight majors that we support as well as other majors through a variety of activities in our courses and outside programs that we bring in, um, as well as um, various resources that we have on our web pages. I think the first and foremost is to help students find their fit um, with where, wherever that takes them. So we don't necessarily want students to stay with our majors if that's not where their fit leads them. So we want them to be able to figure out where that fit is early so that they can successfully matriculate into that major and have a great time at NC State. So I think that's probably our first and foremost goal. And then another goal is to, again, really provide them with support. Um, coming to a large research institution is wonderful because we have lots and lots of resources and NC State's a fabulous institution, but it's also overwhelming, um, especially if you're coming from a smaller high school or a smaller town. So. Uh, another goal is again for us to provide support for students so they feel connected to the university. I always say one of our biggest strengths for NC State's LSFY program is that we're sort of like a small college within a large institution, within a large university. So that's a, a win-win to me. You get the support um, and you get to know staff and faculty well as a result of being in small classes. And at the same time, you get the benefit of NC State as a large university. Yes, we're, we're doing a lot of new things all the time um, based on what we learn from students and getting feedback from students. And then we do have some sort of standard things as well. So we like to do tours of labs. Um, this semester, because of COVID, we've done virtual tours of labs, but it's a good opportunity for students to see what a research lab might look like and to be able to ask questions of a professor, of a researcher. We also do a um, end of fall celebration where we have a speaker just for a short period of time. It's really more social celebration. We also have a yearly art competition that we started last year, which I'm excited about because I'm always amazed at the talent that students have. And we have our first painting hung in Boston Hall from our winner from last year, and we are gonna continue to add to that. And then in the spring, we have a speaker series where we bring in a speaker um, and again, try to make it a big event where students can get a better feel about career paths. And then throughout the year, we have alumni panels and um, sort of people from the community, not necessarily alumni who will come and talk to the students about, again, their career paths and let the students ask questions of them. That's such a good question because, of course, everybody's handling things so differently. And we had the students who were on campus that um, then had to move off of campus. And so for a period of time, the word that I would hear most often from students and myself, frankly, too, would be overwhelming. You know, there was just so many logistical things that had to be done and trying to you know, remember to submit things for classes through Moodle and 
um, you know, keep all of these uh, things organized was difficult for a while, especially during that transition. Um, so I, I do think that probably um, for at least a period of time was the most difficult challenge for students. But the other thing that I've heard from students is just, again, that they're, they're lonely. So for example, one student was with a roommate in the dorm and then she moved off campus and now lives by herself in an apartment. And she said, you know, sometimes I can be in my apartment all day by myself. And even though I'm seeing people on Zoom and we're talking on Zoom, of course, it's not quite the same thing as, as being in the classroom or being in a dorm room with another person. So I do think that there's a tendency to, even though we are trying our best, and I know the university is trying also to make sure that we're staying connected and engaging students, I, I do know that that probably is still um, a challenge for all of us. Um, I, I do think that uh, um, students sometimes, um, you know, kind of, we're all so busy and we are all so excited at the same time, right? So when we, we get to college, when these freshmen get to our program, um, they're so excited and we're so excited for them. And then oftentimes life gets in there and you get very stressed with various courses and various assignments and maybe you didn't do as well on a test as you had hoped. And sometimes those seeds of self-doubt start, you know, kind of poking in there and, oh my goodness, maybe I shouldn't be pursuing this major. And um, I do think it's really important for students in general to step back and sort of think more about the big picture and what they know to be true. So just because you didn't do well on a particular course or a particular test doesn't mean that you're not to do, again, what, what you have envisioned for your future. And again, you just have to work hard at it and take responsibility. So again, maybe that means going to see your professors or studying in a different way or forming a study group and just again, kind of getting in there. But um, just because again, things don't quite go maybe the way that you had envisioned them at the start does not mean that you're not cut out for STEM. So you certainly can do it.